Hey, what's up, Zykusk? Welcome to my channel. Anyways, in this video, we're gonna be asking the question, what is up with Gemini? If you have any other sign suggestions, leave them in the comments. I will do those suggestions after I do the what is up with Leo video. Anyways, so this uh, video is brought to you by Calibri Fun Times, and if you don't know who, who she is or have ever checked out her channel. I, I don't know how you are a vidizen, but not the point. Or have been on VidMe before. I think this is probably your first time on VidMe. Welcome! <laughs> you should check out her channel. Anyways, um, basically, what is up with Gemini? Um, you know, they're, let's see, they're lovely little stereotypes are really centered about memes. Okay. These memes call them the most evil thing to ever exist on the planet, okay? This is mutable air, okay? This is like where air wants to be, kind of. You know, this air is in its element. This is the youngest air sign. And, you know, it's just people are like, you know what? They're evil because they have multi- they, they are very versatile with their personality. They have different sides to them. They know how to appeal to people. You know, that's basically it, okay? People just make memes about them being two-faced flaky bitches, okay? They're not necessarily like Capricorn where it's just in the magazines where there's like Capricorns are boring, conservative, serious. They, they have a really fucked up sense of humor, you know, Gemini is known to be a very talkative, witty person. And, you know, it's just basically recent culture that has, you know, painted Gemini as two-faced flaky bitches that are not to be fucked with. Um, basically, l let's get into why, alright? So, with each air sign, they, like, basically an air ascendant usually has an Earth IC, okay? Gerard Way is a Gemini ascendant, but he does not have an Earth IC, I'm just saying in general, okay? And obviously not all Geminis have a Gemini Ascendant, or not all Gemini Dominants have a Gemini Ascendant, so keep that in mind. Um, basically, Gemini Ascendants usually have an Earth IC, okay? So with Gemini, they have Virgo on the IC, and the IC is the fourth house, and basically the fourth house is your home, what makes you feel comfortable, your childhood, all that fun jazz, okay? That is what the fourth house represents. So. You know, fourth house is like your private self, so when a Gemini is technically in private, just as a sign, they are Virgo, okay? They have everything organized in their brain. Sometimes, you know, Gemini moons, they do not have their emotions, like, organized everywhere. J just throwing that out there. You know, not all Geminis are 100% organized, and not all Virgos are too, but you know, Geminis know what they want to say all the time and know how to appeal to people, and that is a part of their Virgo IC, okay? They have themselves composed to basically go out in the world as a Pisces midheaven, okay? So outside they are Pisces. They know how to, you know, respond to any sort of group that they interact with. Alright, Gemini rules over communication and advertising you know, children, not children, but like, you know, siblings, that's what I meant. So it's be so what I mean is, you know, communication, advertising, siblings, uh, short travel, okay? That is all of Gemini's realm, okay? So when a Gemini ascendant, uh, or just a Gemini in general, um, goes out in the public, they are Pisces, okay? They know how to interact with other people, and know how to, and they get a vibe from each group, and they know how to fit that vibe with the personality of theirs. So, you know, they pull out personality A, B, C, or D, and just, you know, say, hey, what is up? You know, you're more emotional, I will be, I'll show my more emotional side. If you are more rational, show my more rational side. That is basically how Geminis are in groups, okay? Like I said, they know how to advertise, okay? They rule over advertising. So when it comes to advertising, they know how to make an ad look appealing and, you know, make people want to click on that ad and wonder what the fuck it is. So they know how to, so if they know how to, like, appear, appeal to one group, they can appeal to another group and they just, yeah, that's basically it. And, you know, all these groups are different. So how do they appeal to all these groups while all of them are different, you know? 
they have they do know how to you know tap into each one's mindset and when when those groups kind of come together and notice that they're all cool Gemini they're all just like dude Gemini what are you doing your tooth face your tooth face your tooth face <laughs> your tooth face you 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 agree with them on some things like what do you mean you know that's basically the the life of a Gemini basically they appeal to everyone and then everyone gets together and is just like dude I don't like this person how, why do you like them? Like, so basically, that is the main life of a Gemini. And that is the stem of all memes, okay? Gemini, you know, tapping into what a certain group is. And, you know, people are just like, yeah, two faced, you know? It's just, it's stupid, okay? Geminis do have structure to their personality, they are not like Libra, okay? With, like, obviously Libra has the worst of the worst Capricorn on their IC, and, you know, that, you know, Capricorn is kind of changeable for Earth, and even, you know, Virgo is mutable Earth, but, you know, Capricorn just makes you kind of likable in a sense, you know, it's just like, this is how you appeal to people, and sometimes you gotta change, and sometimes you gotta tear yourself down to improve yourself, because, you know, Capricorn Saturn. And, you know, Libra has that on their IC, so, you know, they know how to tear themselves down and re- in, you know, re- I oh, can't talk today, but, you know, they know how to reinvent themselves. That, that, that was a word. You know, they know how to reinvent themselves to basically fit everything that a group wants, and they will reinvent themselves again, and again, and again, and that is basically the life of Libra, and then people, you know, they're, they're probably more all over the place than Gemini. That, that's my opinion, though. <laughs> please, please don't take that to heart. But anyways, basically, Gemini does not do this reinvent themselves thing, okay? They just know how to, how to relate to others. Um, and with that being said, they do have a more sturdy personality than Libra, okay? If you think that Gemini is all over the place, well, have you, have you met a Libra? Oh boy, you can tell, you can tell what sign I am at this point, but basically, um, you know, Geminis just know how to, fa you know, tap into other people. And, you know, I'm gonna, now I'm gonna talk about the flaky point at this point, alright? This is the point of the video where I talk about why they are flaky, okay? When it comes to Air Venuses in general, and by Air Venuses I do not mean Libra, I mean Gemini and Aquarius, they want to make sure that the person they're with can deal with every single little um, personality trait they have, okay? Basically, Libra wants to just be in a relationship. They're in love with love, and when they idealize it a little too much, they leave, and, you know, they realize their partner isn't that perfect. They're like, you know what, I'm gonna go. You know, Gemini and Aquarius are okay with waiting it out. Um... And with the Gemini, if you don't entertain them, or if you can't handle some of their, like, quirks, they're gonna leave. Alright, that is basically Gemini for you. They need constant stimulation of some sort, you know. Basically, air, you know, it represents mental, like, you know, your mentality. Your, you know, the rational stuff. How your brain works. All that fun jazz. If you're not off, if you're not taking Gemini to exciting dates or dates that you know are a little bit more out there, like you're good, you should not expect them to stay that like you know stay with you for that long. Unless if they have a Taurus or Cancer Venus, then maybe they will actually stay because Taurus and Cancer Venus just wants to sit at home. <laughs> And they're okay with the movie nights and the dinners, but you know, when it comes to Gemini as a sign, they they want to go laser tagging and all that fun jazz. That's basically Gemini, okay? They need to be, they need to be excited. Well, I, I feel like that's a wrong word to use, but they need to, you know, experience new things constantly. That's the better wording, you know. Gemini needs to experience new things constantly. And I guess that doesn't, you know, make them appear a little flaky, but that is just 
how a Gemini rolls, okay? They aren't Taurus and Cancer, they're neighbors, okay? Cancer just wants to sit out, sit at home and Taurus just wants to be in luxury and just chill in their little spot and not move. And, you know, Taurus won't move for anyone unless if you really push them, I guess. And I think if you do push Taurus, they, they'll probably get a little pissed at you. Same with Cancer, you know, you don't just drag Cancer out of the house, okay? You're like those two signs, it's really hard to, um, you know, take them out of their comfort zone. But with Gemini, they, their comfort zone is just new things. And you know, that's not always down with the every sign. Every sign, well, you know, other signs may just, you know, have one personality, well, not one personality, but you know, know how to channel some, some parts of their personality only. And this is usually like signs like Taurus and Capricorn, you know, they know, they know how to channel some of their personality traits and that's all they have to bring to a group. And you know, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, you know, they're very heavily opinionated and they will make sure those opinions are known. Gemini, on the other hand, will, you know, they may have strong opinions, but they're not going to, like, just splurge them out all the time. Basically, that is more of a Capricorn, Taurus, Cancer thing. And also Scorpio. That, those are like the main signs that are like, you know, that they would be like, hey, this is my opinion and you're not going to change it. All right, but that is their realm, all right? And also, like I said, Taurus, Taurus and Cancer are really down with tradition. They don't want to get out of their comfort zones. And Gemini just wants to get out of their comfort zone. Um, Scorpio is a sign of rebirth and generation. Well, rebirth and regeneration and death and all that fun jazz. So they might be into some weird shit, you know. They might want to have a weird date night once in a while. And, you know, that's alright with them. Capricorn's down with that too, like when they're free. Um, basically, you know, Capricorn d does like their comfort zone, but Cap but Saturn is kicking them out of their comfort zone constantly. So, you know, they'll be okay with that fun date once in a while too. So, you know, they're they're you know Capricorn Scorpio more um, out there than their sisters, but you know I'm just gonna throw that out there. You know, basically, you know, Gemini is not going to appeal to all the signs once they get to know Gemini. And, you know, that's okay because you can't really please everyone. And with air signs especially, I think that is the main goal with them. Because, you know, Gemini rules over communication and critical thinking and all that fun jazz. And then, you know, Libra represents, you know, marriage, you know, basic, basically what you reflect on to other people and open enemies. And, you know, with that being said, other people are involved. And with Aquarius, it, Aquarius represents humanitarianism in groups and, you know, basically bringing water to the people. That is, that is all what the air signs are. You know, they involve another person in front of them or more than, more than one person in front of them and how they interact with other people. So obviously, you know, Gemini don't get bummed if, you know, some random Taurus <laughs> doesn't understand why you want to go out on a Wednesday night when, you know, Taurus just wants to watch Netflix. You know, you do you, all right? You, you do you, all right? You know, you're gonna want to sit down and watch Netflix at the end of the, at the end of some other day and Taurus will probably be there yeah, they probably will be there. I'm not really... I, I wouldn't know the Taurus, though. What's up with Gemini? Well, um, they are just people who have more energy than most of the signs, basically. They... I think they match their energy levels with Aries. And Aries is, like, the most youthful sign, obviously. And Taurus does have energy in them, but not as much as Gemini and Aries. And, you know, not a lot of people can catch up to the energy that Gemini has, all right? Or their mental capacity because they just, you know, they're very talkative, like I said, you know, they know what to say, when to say it, and some other signs need to think about what they need to say first before saying things. 
So when it comes to Gemini, obviously they're, they want to always try new things and they're not okay with just sitting at home watching Netflix 24 seven. And that's okay, you know, you do you. Um, and based, some signs is just want to watch Netflix 24 seven. Also, you know, Gemini just, they need that entertainment. They need to, you know, channel all their different personality traits and because all of them are pretty well known, okay? They know they need to tap into the psyches of other people and be like, hey, what is up? Um, you're like this and yeah, that's pretty all right. I can feel you on that, you know? That is just how Gemini, what Gen, well, how and what Geminis are built to do, basically. I saw a video recently on Facebook where, um, what's his face? I'm not really sure what his name is, actually. But there was a guy, um, in the UK, I'm guessing, I could be very wrong, so please don't, don't judge me. You know, I could be very wrong, but, you know, he was just walking down the street, you know, asking people, hey, you know, I'm, I'm going, can I guess your zodiac sign? And he got them all right. And, you know, he just, like, went up to people and was like, hey, you're a cancer. By that, I don't mean you're the disease. I mean, you're a crab. And you were born sometime in late June to late July. You know, the, he basically did that. And he did get most of them right, which was wild. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, he just went up to random people and started guessing their signs. And honestly, yeah, I think that is a pretty Gemini thing to do. I thought he was a Scorpio at first, or an Aquarius, but, you know, that that is basically Gemini for you, okay? Some signs are not going to go up to random people and start talking to them and saying, Hey, you're a Leo. I, I know that. You know, so, yeah, I think I'd do that, but... <laughs> I don't know, I'm weird. Anyways, yeah, that was my what is up with Gemini video. Comment down below what science should do next. Peace out, trees. Love you all. Sorry for being a uh, mental wreck. You know, Mercury retrograde is going on. And uh, yeah, I've just been out of it recently. So yeah. Thank you.